Hello, and thank you for joining our Lightning Talk. My name is Ariel Smirnov, and I'm the Technical Marketing Manager at Excel Hub. In the next five minutes, I will explain and demonstrate our brand new feature called Smart Investigation and how it can help companies operating SOCs to reduce fatigue among their security analysts. Before we delve into the specific of our new feature, let's take a moment to focus on the current challenges that SOC analysts encounter on a daily basis. The first, and I would say the most significant challenge that security teams face nowadays is alert fatigue. Each day they're flooded with an enormous number of alerts and detections, leaving them struggling to figure out which ones to prioritize for investigation. Based on IDC research, companies report that up to 30% of these alerts are investigated or completely ignored. Context like an incident analysis. Let's say analysts see a concerning detection and they understand it's not a false positive. Often, they will have difficulty identifying and confirming a security incident based on a single event due to lack of proper context. Even though expert analysts may struggle less with this, it's usually still not enough because modern attacks are very sophisticated. We can describe it as a skill gap. Finally, once an incident is identified, manual building and investigation and correlating related detection is time consuming and arduous. This process not only requires meticulous attention to detail, but also demands a significant amount of time from our analysts who must sift through vast amounts of data to connect the dots. So we took all this into consideration and said, what if instead of having an enormous amount of alerts that only increases with each incident, we had a system that could recommend and create investigation matching high risk attack behaviors? What if instead of distant incidents that analysts are struggling to correlate into one meaningful picture, it could be automatically aggregate and interrelated detections, providing key context so analysts could see the full attack story. And finally, what if instead of manually searching for detection and adding them for an investigation flow, the system could automatically create an investigation workflow with the ability to export investigation to their seam or serve for rapid response. And so we developed these ideas into what we call smart investigations. This tool quickly identifies and addresses high-risk cyber threats, significantly easing the burden of alert fatigue through automated response prioritization. It fits seamlessly into existing workflows, boosting your efficiency. Smart investigation automatically creates detailed investigation that reduces cyber risk, enhances operating resilience, and exposes high-risk attacks with real-time insights and precise detection. So let's get into the demo. First, you have to understand that the capability to correlate the detection and create manual investigations to see a single timeline and map of the attack already exists in our product for quite a while. Whatever we're introducing in this release is the smart part that does it automatically. As you can see on our overview page where our product shows the most important information like frequent offenders, detections sorted by attack category, and detections that are recommended for triage and threat briefings, on the top, you would notice the investigation block, which added in this version to simplify the navigation for those who are using our product. So by simple click, we're redirected straight to the investigation tab where we see the list of all create, uh, create investigation that user has. In my case, there are three. One that I created by myself and two that the system created for me. How do I know how to, different, uh, how to differentiate between them? Simply by the name, you will see that all, all the smart investigation created under the name Extahop here. So on this page, you can see the basic information of each incident like name, assignee, who is leading or responsible for this investigation, status, assessment, when it was created and when it was updated the last time and notes. Of course, if you have a lot of ongoing investigation, you can sort and filter it with this, the help of our search bar. When we open investigation, we see the incident's title and the reason why this particular investigation was created. In our example, it's because the device in the network was the offender in a combination of lateral movement and exfiltration techniques. The way it works is that basically we have an algorithm that looks for attack patterns and matches it to the templates we created for most common scenarios like command and control communication and beaconing in combination with data exfiltration bidirectional attack involving lateral movement or frequent offender like in our example. On the right, to right top corner, we have authoritative information that include the name of the, of the creator, 
when it was created and the last updated and an, an investigation ID. Moving forward, we see post compromise chain and how many detections were involved in each stage, thus helping us to better understand the attack structure if we are talking about some advanced persistent threat attack. In our example, we can see that there is an one particular that is involved in each stage of the cyber kill chain. The main part of the station has two parts, summary page and attack map page. The summary page includes information about the detection and participants involved in the incident and panel tracking status and response action of the investigation. The detection part is basically a timeline of incidents that occurred on the bottom, the first one and the top, the most recent one. This detection work picked by our system, but we still can add or remove particular detection to the investigation based on our understanding of the incident. In the second panel, we see the aggregated list of participants, which group by external endpoints, high value devices that provide authentication, authentication and essential services and other participants. When we click on an attack map, we see the interaction map of the offender and victims. So let's dive into some of the indications so, uh, to see what information we can find there. Uh, let's pick data exploitation to F3 backend. First, first of all, we can spot on the, that this particular detection was recommended for triage because it involved a high value asset, top offender device, and a rare detection type, and thus added to this system investigation. With the short description of this detection, what exactly happened in a nutshell? The information and IP addresses of the offender and the victim and other valuable metrics. Records and packets where we can navigate for more details by clicking these buttons. If we pick the command and control beaconing detection, I want to show that we have a logger here that says it's CrowdStrike. It means that this particular detection was enriched from, from the CrowdStrike Falcon and this is a good example of how we have a seamless integration with our EDR partner. Finally, I want to show you the, uh, how we can edit this investigation. So here we can see the name, name that of a freaking offender. We can, we can assign a status, let's say in progress, assignee, who is gonna be responsible for this investigation. Assessment, let's say it's malicious through positive because we saw that this is involved uh, some malicious activity on the endpoint and would say crowd strike ti enrichment finally if we we, we if from here we can remove our detections this is everything that I wanted to demonstrate to you. I hope you enjoyed this demo and this presentation, and thank you.